everyone and welcome again to another edition of Girls Inc. at Home. For today's video and activity, we are going to make a volcanic or an eruption. We're going to make a volcano. So in order to create our chemical reaction today, our eruption, our volcano eruption, we need two main ingredients. We need baking soda right here and we need vinegar. So we need these two, um, usually very readily available at your local grocery store, dollar stores. Um, I use them a lot for different experiments. And cooking. so we need that. Um, you can use a plastic cup that you can just throw away. The smell vinegar, sometimes it's not the most enjoyable smell, but um, if you want to use just a regular cup that you have at home, that's fine. You can also cut a water bottle or use a water bottle and um, use that for our bottom of our volcano. So this is what's gonna contain all the liquid and we're gonna kind of wrap our foil around it. Next thing we're gonna need is some foil paper. Again, this can also be bought at the dollar store. This is what I use for my storage needs, so I have that. If you're doing this inside a paper plate, if you're doing this outside, you probably can do it on the grass or the floor, but this creates a more stable ground. So I would use a paper plate, regular plate, make sure that it just doesn't break. I have a stir stick because I want to add some red food coloring to my vinegar so if you don't have food coloring that's perfectly fine you don't need it but I just happen to have some so I'm going to add this and then a stir stick this is just a coffee stir stick so some measuring cups I have here half a cup uh, you can probably um, just kind of do some equal parts of everything but it should be fine and then before I show you the, the extras since I'm doing this inside, I'm just putting a cookie sheet under so that I don't get vinegar all over my table and all over my house. But that's about it. And then I have some goodies. I found some red pom-poms that I'm going to attempt to put in my baking soda, in my cup with the baking soda, and see if those will rise with the vinegar and uh, baking soda chemical reaction. And then I'm going to decorate the outside of my aluminum volcano with some tree erasers that I bought for Christmas that I just had. So we're going to use these. All right, let's get started. Here we have our cookie tray. Again, this is just to contain all the liquid once we actually erupt it. So if you're doing this outside, if you're doing this on the concrete or the grass, you might not need it, but I'm going to have it here available for me a paper plate just to make sure that I also put my cup in there and then we're going to start with the foil. So we're going to cut a few pieces and we're just going to start constructing it. So the way that I saw, I saw this online, is that you kind of use the cup to hold your foil and the paper plate. So we're going to kind of do this. We might only need like two pieces, and then the paper plate under. I'm gonna make it go out a little bit. So this is kind of what our volcano is going to look like. I try to shape it around the cup and the paper plate and I also made sure that there was a hole in the middle because this is where our baking soda and then our vinegar is going to go and hopefully erupt down this way. I'm going to add my baking soda and my red pom-poms in here. So I have that I don't need, but I'm gonna use about, I'm gonna say a fourth of a cup in here. Mm, I think I'm gonna do the full, the full half a cup, just to make sure that it's working. Awesome. And then I'm going to add our pom-poms in here. He's gonna have some red pom-poms, which is really cool. 
Okay. Have that on the side. And then I'm gonna decorate it with our trees. So I'm gonna just kind of put our trees around here. It's gonna be our our awesome volcano right here. And then the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create our vinegar and red food dye concoction. So we're gonna make that together, we're gonna mix that together and then we are going to add it to our volcano. So I went ahead and got a bigger measuring cup. You don't have to use a big measuring cup, a big bowl, a big uh, cup in general. But I wanted to get a bigger one so I can mix it and then this one has a pouring spout so it's going to be a little easier to pour. So I want to put my vinegar in here. So that. And I think, because I did put about half a cup of baking soda, I'm going to do about a cup and a half. Of vinegar which is basically all I had which is right on the money then I'm gonna add a little bit of our red food coloring for this I would add maybe two drops and then you can always see if that works for you I'm gonna add maybe two more right now it's looking a little orange Let's go with three more. So maybe about five drops. Again, science. We're always testing out how much we should add. Always experimenting. Good. I think about five is good. Looks a lot more red, less orange. Okay. Alrighty. So now we're gonna be ready for our eruption. And I'll show you that looks like. All right, so we are ready to put one and a half cups of vinegar with red food dye into our half a cup of baking soda. We have our volcano set up. Some of the trees have already fallen, so I'm gonna put these on again. This one's cleaning there. Oop. Again, if you have like little dinosaurs, that would be really cool. Um, other trees, things like that, that can fall. And now we're ready for our eruption. So in five, four, three, two, one. Slowly pouring there, slowly pouring there. Woohoo! Pour a little more. this experiment at home as always we thank you for watching and if you have any experiment that you want to see us try make sure that you write that down in the comment section and as always don't forget to subscribe thanks for watching bye